Hiya, I'm Pimmy. Um, I want to tell a bit about the yurt today. Um, let's step outside. See if we can see it. Standing in my backyard. Um, um, this yurt is uh, my um, studio, my wool studio, and um, I have it uh, have it up uh, all year round. And um, in Holland, it's well, quite rainy, quite wet, a lot wetter than uh, in Mongolia, where uh, yurt, this yurt comes from and where it was made. And I had to. Um, change a couple of things to keep it healthy here in a wetter climate. Uh, one of the things I did is I didn't stick it up, um, on top of the, just on top of the ground. I put it up on um, uh, straw bales. And the straw bales are um, here underneath and um, wrapped in uh, several layers of plastic. And on top of that is uh, the wooden floor. And on top of the wooden floor is um, the construction of the yurt. And here uh, over the uh, wooden um, s uh, frame are two thick layers of felt. Really thick felt, more than a uh, centimeter thickness, all over the uh, the sides and um, over the roof. And over that is a layer of um, waterproof uh, plasticky stuff. And on top of that is uh, the canvas, which uh, looks nice and also um, keeps the the uh, weather out and if we go inside then you can see uh, the, the wooden skeleton and the walls um, those are um, made from a, a lattice work that uh, goes together um, like a harmonica and you pull it out till the, uh, the, the squares are perfectly square and um, the different wall pieces are tied together and you can see it here it's overlapping here and um, fitted uh, one, one wall piece is fitted into the other and it's tied together so it, it doesn't go anywhere. And um, this is a, a four wall yurt. And uh, because we have a bit of a wide door frame, um, it isn't uh, four uh, meters um, across, but five. If you see my door. You see that there are two wooden panels next to the door, which makes it all a bit wider. And um, on top of the door, you see the uh, roof poles uh, leaning, and those go up into the roof circle, the compression ring. They stick into the side of that. Let's see. Here you see it. And um, over the top of that goes uh, the uh, first uh, um, the white fabric you, you see. And on top of that comes the, the felt and the outer layers, the um, canvas. And here you see this red rope which is tied to the center of the roof and goes down to a big stone. And 
Um, that's the, the storm rope. Because um, storm and winds don't really have any hold on to a yurt. Because the, the walls are round and the roof is, is a dome as well. So the wind doesn't have anything to push against like you'd have on a flat wall. Um, it, it moves around it. And we had a couple of quite big storms um, uh, this winter and last and um, the houses and trees around here really um, had damage and uh, entire roof structures that, that were blown away but it really didn't get any hold of the of the yurt. The only thing I saw was the, the wall which the um, wind pushed against was moving a little bit in but that was everything yeah, there was a lot of noise but um, no damage and no movement otherwise and um, the only thing uh, that's dangerous for yurts in a storm is if uh, the wind blows the door open and um, the wind comes in and picks up um, the, the center um, compression ring and pushes it up because then um, all the, the, spo the roof, uh, the, the beams all uh, will come out of the compression ring and fall down and the roof will collapse. So that's why uh, you have the storm rope to pull the the ring down and it's tied to a heavy uh, center stone um, there's no storm now but I've been a bit lazy and I really should um, untie it and I can uh, just um, put it up between the, the, uh, the roof uh, poles and then I have a bit more room to walk around in here um, now this yurt uh, was made for uh, the European market um, and for that the walls are a bit higher than is traditional. Traditionally they're about 150, 1 meter 50 height, so that's for me about here. Um, and mine has uh, the walls at um, 170 which gives me a lot more usable room space because I can stand next to the wall. I don't have to stoop or that you can only sit there, which is the traditional thing that you uh, sit on the floor or on the beds, um, sitting next to the wall. But uh, because of the extra height, I have more usable space in here. And the thing is that uh, the humidity in um, the Netherlands is quite high even in, in summer so to an, a lot higher than in, it would be in um, Mongolia so to keep the um, felt healthy and um, not too wet I have um, a humidifier uh, machine that um, runs in here uh, if it's a, a really uh, wet um, time of the year and otherwise um, in winter I heat it um, not with wood stove because that isn't practical in for me um, in um, a crowded neighborhood uh, and also it uh, would be impractical with how I use it and um, uh, it would be too cold in here in the moment that you uh, have everything heated up then you probably run out of time and have to go uh, uh, do stuff with kids at least I would um, so I have um, a little radiator oil radiator and um, there it is 
and it's a it's a small uh, radiator but um because the uh, space is so well insulated it really can keep everything nice and uh, and warm and um we don't get really um cold winters so it's nice and comfortable and because i have the the floor laying on top of the uh, straw bales. The floor is insulated as well and I don't get a cold draft from underneath or uh, a cold floor. So you can sit on the floor, you can do yoga on the floor um, even in winter and it's, uh, it's not a problem, it's really comfortable. I think that's everything I have to tell about the yurt right now but if you have questions or if I left something out then please tell me but for now um, see you next time bye